What is no self? No self is a pointer. Full version of this, there is no separate self as you think there is. The separate self is an illusion. This is a very powerful pointer that is asking to look at your own experience and see what is true. What we assume to be me, I, myself, does not exist. And you can ask, how come? You can say, I don't get that there is no me. I am here getting frustrated and I am looking for a way out. And it's impossible to tell you how it is. The whole point of the pointer is to get you to look for yourself. As Rumi said so wisely, why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open? It says that there is a choice, a decision to stay in prison and that it can be otherwise, the door is wide open. Walk out. So let's explore this. What is this prison? It's the thoughts about past and future with all the emotions like guilt, shame, regret, anxiety, fear, frustration, doubt that comes with not knowing what you are. And it's not like you can say, alrighty then, no more thoughts about the past, I give up. I don't want to create endless problems and try to solve them for no good reason other than I get to feel unsafe when I can't know what will happen. So now I stop thinking about what if scenarios and drive myself crazy with anxiety. I just stop. This does not work like that, as the process is unconscious. There is a story that keeps playing in the mind and it keeps going on by itself. Can you see it? Just like dreams at night, the stories arise in the mind. In the night dream, there is a dream character, different locations and different characters. And the dream is an experience. It's something that arises by itself. Daytime dream, called daydreaming, is also arising by itself. Thoughts come and go by themselves, do you agree? Or are you making them happen? Do you experience thoughts or do you make them come? And how about feelings, emotions? Are you making them happen? Or can you make them stop? Is frustration something you do or something that you experience? Perhaps thoughts, feelings, sensations arise by themselves? So what are we looking here at? There is life happening, a flow that is freely flowing like a river. Can you see that the experiences are happening by themselves? Is there a possibility to change colors that are seen right now? Are you making sounds heard? Can you stop hearing these words? Can you stop sensing body sensations that are present? Are you doing anything to be aware? Or is it all given? The separate self is like a lens through which the world is seen, like sunglasses. You put them on, the view changes, the color changes. What is happening is still the same, but now it is perceived differently. Me or separate self is like me glasses. When the world is seen through the eyes of me, then I am here, perceiving life, I'm here and life is happening to me and I'm in control of what happens to me and I, I can avoid things that I don't want to happen to me and I am in charge of my life. 
I am the owner of this body. I am the thinker of thoughts and I am the feeler of emotions. I am here a person, a character. And I have an identity. I decide what is best for me. This first perspective narrative about me, the central character, is the lens. Now self points to the absence of the der, the manager, experiencer, witness, character, in charge of its own little piece of life. No self pointer says that such an entity does not exist. There is no me in reality. This personal I is pure fiction. Me is a character in a story about me. There is no me without a story. The story brings the character within it. It's not the character that is creating his story, but the story is creating the character. And the story is not reality. Reality is here with and without the story. Look at this. Reality is that which is. There is knowing of experience, experiencing, being aware. There are many ways to describe what is happening. The reality does not change. I can say, I am breathing, breathing is happening, breath is going in and out. The body is breathing. The air is coming in and out. The chest is lifting and falling. I know I am breathing. I am aware that my body is breathing. I am aware of sensations that I call breathing. I am doing breathing and I can stop now as I am the breather. Oh, by the way, I'm also the sitter, the watcher, the listener and the experiencer of life. All the descriptions are stories about an actual process that is undeniably here. How it is named, what words are used, is just dressing it up. Direct actual experience is here. Take a deep breath and let it out. Did it happen? Did you do it? The story seems sticky as it continues unconsciously. The self, me, I is continuously created and added on on experience that is happening by itself. No self means that life is happening by itself, not by myself. Life is self-happening. And let's go back to Rumi. Why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open? Because you don't know that there is an option to leave prison and be free. Prisoner's life seen through the lens of a separate me, the door, the manager of life. The exit is through finding out for yourself. What is the nature of this me? Is it possible that there is a separate self? outside of this self-happening process we call life. The pointer is this. There is no self. Look. Look means check what is true, obvious and real right here, right now. What is your experience? What are you without the story? Seeing no self is seeing the flow of life and knowing that it's happening by itself. Life is happening. There is knowing of experiences. There is an awareness of being aware. There is openness and freedom to experience whatever life shows up as. Me, the I, cannot get liberated, cannot stop suffering and cannot awaken. It cannot stop to exist. 
to simply not hear. The imagined eye does not become real. What if you dare to look what life looks like without the narrative of me, the person? You can see that nothing changes. Life continues. Nothing is lost. There is an option to leave the prison and enjoy life. But seeing that there is no self, as it was thought to be, all that is lost is a belief, a filter. What is here now? And when you are ready to look and want to know the truth of how things are, you start seeing clearly. It's not that you find something new, but you notice that which has always been here. Life is a continuing flow of experiences. Me, as an experience, it is added on, like sunglasses. It's okay to take the me glasses off. It is safe to leave the prison and look at reality as it is. Again, nothing dies, gets destroyed or disappears. There comes wonder. The mystery and magic of life is here. Something is happening. And it's happening not to your separate self, not to your me, but as experiences. And there is freedom to experience. There is freedom to experience what it's like to be looking at life through the lens of a separate self. You get the taste of what it's like to feel small and separate. And now, what is life without this idea? <laughs>